in this screencast video lecture we will try to see in detail about the methanogenesis process that is the process by which certain rka can able to combine carbon dioxide and hydrogen to produce methane here the methanogenesis could be effected through three different kinds of mechanisms one is a type 1 that is carbon dioxide reducing or hydrogenotropic group of organism this is the one which happen majority there in the earth system this could be effected by the bacteria that belong to the order methanobacterials as well as methanomicrobials here the genus includes methanobacterium mainly methanobacterium thermoautotrophicum then methanobrevibacter methanospora methanothermus so these are all certain important groups of bacteria that are coming under the category of hydrogenotropic methanogens the second category refers to methyl reducing group of methanogens most of the organism that comes under the order methanosarcinales are all methyl reducing in nature and third group comprises of acetoclastic group of methanogens here the classical example includes the methanoceta as well as methanosarcina genera among these various kinds of methanogenesis process as i already told type 1 is an important we will going to discuss that particular mechanism in detail in this process electrons that are required for reducing carbon dioxide into methane are mainly originating there from the hydrogen however in certain group of methanogens the hydrogen could be originating there from other organic compounds such as formate or certain alcohols can able to donate electrons that can able to reduce carbon dioxide into methane now we look at into the various steps that are involved there in the hydrogenotrophic way of methanogenesis in the first step carbon dioxide is activated by the methanofuron containing coenzyme which is involved in reducing it to the formal level here the electron for this reduction are supplied from hydrogen and ferridoxin is the one which acts as the electron carrier in this process in the next step if you look at the formyl group is transferred from the methanofuron containing coenzyme to methanopterene containing next coenzyme in this step it is subsequently dehydrated and reduced in two separate steps to form methylene and methyl levels for these steps the immediate electron donor is mainly the reduced f420 containing coenzyme finally the methyl group is transferred from methanopterene to an enzyme called coenzyme m so the methyl containing coenzyme is reduced to methane with the help of methyl reductases in this particular process the coenzyme f430 as well as coenzyme b are involved in the first step coenzyme f430 remove the methyl group from methyl group attached coenzyme m forming a nickel methyl complex you may already aware the coenzyme 430 found to contain nickel as a cofactor this complex is further reduced by coenzyme b generating finally the methane and a disulfide complex that is a complex comprises of coenzyme m as well as coenzyme b that are united by a sulfide linkage that is with a disulfide linkage after the formation of methane on the very final step the coenzyme m as well as coenzyme b are regenerated by reduction of coenzyme m as well as coenzyme b containing disulfide complex with hydrogen the various enzyme that have been involved in this pathway have been numbered as the 1 2 3 4 like that and their respective enzymes names are all provided there at the end in the final process of methane regeneration atp is synthesized with the help of atp synthase enzyme that will be used for the further growth and metabolism 